near Cape Cod, November 21, 1620. The Pilgrims drafted a document called the Mayflower Compact, and it is signed by all 41 household heads. It embodied the same principles of government, which would later become the cornerstone of American democracy. Noah Webster may have summed it up best in a letter he wrote to James Madison. The Christian religion in its purity is the basis and the source of all genuine freedom in government. I am persuaded that no civil government of a republican form can exist and be durable in which the principles of Christianity have not a controlling influence. Philadelphia, July 4th, 1776. Three days of spirited debate ended today as the Continental Congress approved Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence from Great Britain. John Adams called the document the greatest ever debated and predicted that this date would forever be celebrated in America. Adams wrote, it ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. New York City, 1915. Margaret Sanger has founded the National Birth Control League. Later in 1942, after three name changes, it would become known as Planned Parenthood. In her first newspaper, The Woman Rebel, she wrote, Birth control appeals to the advanced radical because it is calculated to undermine the authority of the Christian churches. Some of the original members of the ACLU were Norman Thomas, who was six times the Socialist Party's candidate for president, William Foster, chairman of the Communist Party USA, Max Eastman, editor of the Communist Party's paper, The Masses, Harry Ward, who, according to the congressional record, maintained membership and affiliation with over 200 communist or communist front organizations. Then, in the aftermath of a stock market crash in October 1929 and a gradual weakening of the economy, the industrial edifice collapsed and the nation plunged into the severest and most prolonged economic crisis in its history. The rebirth of America is more than a notable aspiration. It is a desperate need, and by God's grace, may become a glorious reality at this crucial hour.